The reasons why you're a somebody and not a nobody. A few weeks ago, one of you guys wrote me saying that you feel like you're a nobody because you're not famous, rich, in a relationship, and just a regular person in society. Right now, I want to make something absolutely clear to everyone watching this. When you were born, you became somebody important, period. Majority of people like to consider themselves a nobody because they did not achieve the things that the world considers to be great. For people struggling to find themselves or see how they are relevant in life, we must understand why something is considered significant in the world to begin with. Who made or had the authority to make that something great in the first place? And if whatever is done can be considered great to most, does that make something else that is good, lesser, or unimportant? In our society, things that are considered important for people to achieve deal with things such as owning your own business, playing professional sports, being famous as an actor, music composer slash producer, being a singer, and pretty much anything else that can make you a lot of money. Most people who become a somebody, so to speak, today do not even understand what that means. Also, once they do realize what that truly means, they have already became a figure in something that can negatively cause false interpretations or beliefs for people in the future. People who have gained power through achieving any of the things that I mentioned before tend to misuse their blessings for personal gain not realizing or caring about the overall consequences of their actions. When a person becomes successful, there is a good chance their main goal was to have a comfortable living. Not realizing that the things they say and do will have an impact on the people who look up to them. The true slash hidden reason why people feel like they are nobody isn't due to money, but it's because they do not have massive influence like an important person does. The one thing that a somebody has that makes them vital to the world is their influence, even if they are not publicly known for their accomplishments. For one, notice that ad companies or blockbuster movies always like to have someone who is known to the public because it will help market their product and bring an increased revenue. Also, in general, when people have any type of influence, this makes them feel special. For example, being able to vote in America allows people to feel like they have a voice in the political system thus giving them a sense of purpose in the function of our government. Even something as small as people choosing activities in a group of friends or family members gives people a sense of meaning slash presence. However, when comparing these small examples to the massive influence of other more successful individuals, everything one does that is not on that level can seem irrelevant or lesser, which leads to thoughts of one being a nobody. The worst part of it all is that people don't even realize that all of this is part of the business. By being an entrepreneur, marketer, etc., these fields require skills in deductive reasoning. Successful marketers must understand the way people think, react, and feel about topics so they can ultimately exploit the information and make profit out of it. This world is ran by secular people. So morality is not the first priority for everyone. Money normally is. People also fail to realize that we only like to see the product of things and never care about how something came to be. Sports, for example, we all love it. But at one point in life, these things such as basketball and football did not exist, having no true influence. When it was introduced, I'm pretty sure it didn't start off as a billion dollar company. Another interesting one is Star Wars. People have literally made the thing into a religion, not realizing that the dude who made Star Wars copied a lot of those spiritual aspects from real life religion in the first place. 
He was literally just a guy trying to make money, was almost bankrupt, but got blessed to have the right connections at the perfect time. How many others in his position do you think failed? Also, from the world's perspective, he was nobody important before Star Wars. Lastly, I want to talk about the problem of what makes somebody important in the first place. To the world, we must commend businessmen and famous people for their achievements. There's nothing wrong with that. But we do need to realize that fame and power comes from the people and our support of whatever it is. If a leader in the government lost all his troops, citizens, etc., would he still have military power in the world? If a businessman lost his business, would he still be important in that field that he excelled in? These people need you. Without you, they would fall prey to their own false belief of what makes an individual a somebody. And that is why when someone important loses their backing, the first thing people would say is that they are no longer relevant. When it comes to my Christian faith, it has helped me realize that everything God has made is significant, period. It doesn't matter who you are or how great of a singer you've become. The things that people consider important has no mental effect on God's creation. If a famous person and a homely man were to fall into a lion's den, do you think the lion would spare the famous singer and just eat the homeless person? Just like how all creatures on the earth are important without man choosing what is, you are a part of that creation. Even though man has corrupted your sight about this fact, this does not make it any less true, thus making you a somebody. Thank you.